Shalom, Shalom. Before I get started with this lesson, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and infinite glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachach Wadash. Give a double honor to the head apostles of the Great Millstone, who do rule well and teach well with sound doctrine. Shalom. And to the elders and the elder bishops of the Great Millstone as well. Peace, love, salutations, and blessings unto the hopeful elect and the hearty Shalom. To the sincere brethren doing the work in truth and sincerity, giving diligence to make their calling and election sure. Shalom, Shalom. So this is Brother Ashamath from the Watchman on the Coast out here in San Diego, back at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yashai. Adon Rathasa, Yahweh Rathasa, the lesson's edifying. This lesson is going to go into this scoffer right here, this filthy dreamer, despiser of dominion, J.D. Nijah, who went on my comment board to confess his hurt and to scoff and to mock and to harass and as we get closer and closer to the end, you're going to see more of these scoffers, more of these uh, you know, mockers, filthy dreamers, despisers of dominion pop up, confessing their hurt, trying to slander, you know, trying to, you know, accuse the brethren. So we have to walk circumspectly and mark those which cause division. Let's grab that real quick. And Adon Rathasa, Yahweh Rathasa, this lesson's edifying. This is Romans the 16th chapter and the 17th verse and it reads now i beseech you brethren now if you go into that word brethren it's adelphos which means descending of the same national ancestor you know of the same bloodline mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them and this guy is coming on the comment board in the spirit of sowing confusion and sowing discord so he came in and scoffed with this little comment, cute, you know, so I hit him up with a few precepts because I knew about this guy's folly. Let's play a little bit of it. It's lucky. Dreams and visions are not dreams and visions are not. And this video, the Lord's giving him and the video was posted by the uh, beloved pre Shaar from the GMS Dallas camp. So we'll play this this uh, madness right here, this vomit, and we'll go into you know a few of the comments that he left, and uh, once again, Lord's will this lesson's edifying. But this lesson is going to be to warn brothers to stay away from this guy, block this guy. He's through, he's done. And the first thing you can see and notice right here, he's going into you know what's set to happen, prophecy, so on and so forth, according to his interpret interpretation, according to his interpretation, you know, of what's going to happen. And he has a hat on. He's covering his head. And he made a proud ass comment, you know, back about him having his head covered. But let's play this vomit real quick. Dreams and visions are not. The Lord's giving him um, false visions that they're running with. Um, is this. This is verse 28 of Jeremiah 22. Caniah's seed shall not rule. And see what what. What the Lord say, what Jeremiah is saying here is that there's part of Judah that is is not only um, not going to have the rule, they are going to get really, really um, shamed. This is First Corinthians eleven and four. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth. His head. Let's get it in a more plain version than the KJV. Because sometimes the KJV can be a little too meaty, you know, for, you know, newer sheep, new believers. Let's grab the NIV version first, the NLT. 1 Corinthians 11 and 4. Every man dishonors his head if he covers his head while praying or prophesying. So this man is breaking down the scriptures going into, you know, uh, judgment, so on and so forth. According to, you know, what he believes is going to happen. And he's doing it with his head covered. Which is what women are supposed to do. Women are supposed to cover their head when the word's coming out. A man is supposed to have his head uncovered when he's prophesying, praying, reading, you know, so on and so forth. You know, speaking at camp teaching you know 
you're supposed to have your head uncovered. And it's so fitting that you're doing this in, in a feminine, you know, uh, spirit, you know, hurt. 1 Corinthians 11 and 4, every man praying, this is the Young's literal translation, and this is as literal as you can get with this translation as far as this precept. Every man praying or prophesying, having the head covered, doth dishonor his head. It's plain. English revised version, every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. Duray Reem's Bible, every man praying or prophesying with his head covered, disgraceth his head. Baran Study Bible, the BSB, every man who prays or prophesies with his head covered, dishonors his head. That's plain, but according to this guy, you know, that's not what it means. Salaki, you know, great doctrine, you don't even, you don't even understand what that means it is not about heat it is not about hit it's not about hats air through man you know through 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 and then he went on to say i'm carnal for dropping these precepts on him this is luke 10 and 16 he that heareth you heareth me he that despises you despises me he that despises him that sent he that despises him despises him that sent me i'm gonna read it again Luke 10 and 16, he that heareth you, heareth me, and he that despiseth you, despiseth me. So if you hate us, you hate Yahweh And he that despiseth me, despiseth him that sent me. You despise Yahweh you despise the Heavenly Father. Acts 3 and 23, it shall come to pass that every soul which will not hear that prophet shall be destroyed from among the people. And that's exactly your fate, you know, unless you repent. And if you're doing this this late in the game, mocking all the elders, scoffing all the elders, you know, trying to sow discord, uh, basically accusing the brethren of, you know, being uh, a militia, a cult, you know, um, you know, so on and so forth. You're in that Judas Iscariot spirit, man. You know, and hurt and through. Mad because men are getting on Eve, you know, done for. Proverbs 8 and 36, but he that sent against me wrongeth his own soul. All they that hate me love death. I'm going to read it again. This is Proverbs 8 and 36. This is as plain as you can get. He that sinned against me wrongeth his own soul. All they that hate me love death. You hate the Heavenly Father, you love death. That's what the scriptures say. That's not carnal. You know? So I guess when Yahweh Shemashah destroyed Pharaoh, that was carnal too, right? You know? He wrote, uh, it, it's noted in the scriptures that the Lord hates Esau. Uh, that's carnal too, right? You're supposed to just love everybody, right? That's a false balance, man. The Lord isn't all love, you know? You have to have uh, night to have day. You got to have, you know, hot to have cold. You got to have bitter to have sweet. You got to have hate to have love, you know, as far as everything in perfect balance. You know, Yahweh Shema Shai is a power of perfect balance. And by him, uh, actions are measured, man. This is this man's folly. Let's let it keep playing. Let's rewind it from the beginning. Dreams and visions are not, the Lord's giving them um, false visions that they're running with. Um, is this, this is verse 28 of Jeremiah 22. Caniah's seed shall not rule. And see what 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 the Lord say. What Jeremiah is saying here is that there's part of Judah that is is not only um, not going to have the rule, they are going to get really really um, shamed. You think the Lord's not going to shame these these niggas when it comes time? We're wine. Let's play that again. You think the Lord's not going to shame these these niggas when it comes time for for blaspheming? They're they're done. They're stupid. They they really are stupid. I'm trying to love them, and they don't give they don't give nothing. So if you if you like this if you like what I'm saying and you believe what I'm saying, 
um, I'm here every day. The Lord put it on me to um, push this energy, this uh, of hurt. That's what he put the energy on you to do, to push the energy and the spirit of being hurt, you know. And that's what you're doing. You're just harassing. You're just part of the movie to be a scoffer and a mocker. Now, if you go into this word for, let's look up a few things. This is uh, Luke 21 and 15. Now, if you go into this word gainsay, we'll grab it real quick. Luke 21 and 15. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom with all, which all of your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. Let's go into gainsay before we go into resist. Gainsay. Strong's G47, uh, 47, 47, 1, 471. And it goes into gainsay. Say against. To speak against. Gainsay. To refute or deny. Gainsay. Say against. So they can't refute or deny. Let's go and look up refute real quick. Look up. To refute. To disprove. Deny. <laughs> so, Yahweh Bashim Yashai has given us a mouth which all of our adversaries shall not be able to disprove, deny, you know, nor resist. That's why they're coming up against the men who have the 100% true correct doctrine. This is biblical prophecy, you know. They're harassing. They're scolding us. If you go into this word harass... Because that's what they're doing when they're not able to gain, say, no resist. They keep on coming back because the Lord's putting the spirit on them to come back just so they can get confounded. You know? And so they can be marked. Let's, lock it. Let's go into this word anti, which is a part of the etymology. Strong's G473. Anti. 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 And that's the root of the Greek for gainsay, which is anti upon. Strong's G471. Antipon. Antipon. I'm going to pull it up just so you don't think I pull it out of a hat. Right here. Strong's G471. Uh, Let's get right to the point. Strong's G473. Which Antipon. Is right here. Anti. Strong's G473. Anti. 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 And it reads opposite. Instead of instead or because, rarely in addition to, over against, opposite to, for instead of the place of, instead of, against, opposite to, and that's what they are. They anti, you know, anointments. They're against the truth, you know, they're against the prophets, they're against the gather. Filthy dreamers. Gainsayers, you know, despisers of dominion, mockers, scoffers, false teachers. Now, if you go into this word gainsay, uh, slack it, resist. It's Strong's G436. I'll pull it up right in front of you so you don't think I'll pull it out of a hat. Resist. Strong's G436. Unthiste me. Anthistemi. And it reads, to stand against, resist, withstand. They can't resist it. Oppose. You can't oppose it. Deny it, nor disprove it. Resist, withstand, to set oneself against. To withstand, resist, oppose, to set against. Once again, you know, this man is harassing. You know, he's coming on different brothers' comment boards. Mocking and scoffing, making videos. His whole page is dedicated to blaming the ministry now because he's hurt. He's through, you know. Let's play this vomit. Let's go through his man. Let's go through this man's works. Long time. So if you go through this man's works, you know, look at popping on gossip, bopping on gossip, millstone your truth or the truth. GMS bopping on GMS militant Israelites that's slander right there that's a false report that's basically tying us to domestic terrorism you know you're you're on Esau's side man you crack ass cracker 
GMS, shut the fuck up, our faithful, strong women, Deborah and GL Rock, standing up for the so-called black women, defending Eve. Fuck Eve, man. Besides the women outside this truth, you know, Eve ain't shit, man. You know? And we'll get on a shameless woman. She, she, she'll be counted as a dog. If you go into Sirach 26, I was going to get that a little later, but hey, it'll come up now. Because it's on the spirit to come out now. This is Sirach 26 and 25. A shameless woman shall be counted as a dog, but she that is shamefaced will fear Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Also, uh, Proverbs 31 and 10, just to add balance. Who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies? You know? But a shameless woman shall be counted as a dog. If you go into the more standardized version, as far as a different version that makes it a little more plain upon tables, the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops version, the USCCB, and this is just used for edification purposes because it's more plain upon tables. Sirach 26 and 25 in the USCCB, a headstrong wife is regarded as a bitch. What? A headstrong wife is regarded as a bitch. But the one with sense of shame fears the Lord. Who can find a virtuous woman? They're rare and far and far and few between, man. But they're out there. But the rest of them is just bitches, man. We're just going to call it straight. You know? Influence and drunk off the wine of Babylon. Eve and the serpent. The match made a hell. The pick and roll from the garden. You know, and broke back as niggas and wiggas and spiggas, crack ass crackers, who get offended at men correcting and reproving and rebuking because you have an effeminate ass spirit on you. Let's play this man's vomit, though. Let's go through some more of his hurt, though. No street ministry, by the way, but GMS, 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 GMS. And in this video clip, he's going to call us gossipers, but all of his page is dedicated to gossip and slander, accusing the brethren, you know? Literally, yep, he had a video that was uh, calling us basically a hate group, man. I want to go through it and find it, you know? But this is it right here. You can use this, you know? Militant Israelites. That's what Esau's saying, man. That's Southern, that's Southern Poverty Law Center talk, man. You know? Congressional hearing talk. You know? That's transcript talk that they'll be using in the Federal Court of Law, you know? When certain men are dragged in before those kings and rulers, you know? For the name and, and, and sake of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. You know? That's all this man is doing, man. Marking himself, you know, with his doctrine, with his spewing out of madness. Hurt. Man, I was trying to find it. There was one that was just like, just straight slander, man. But that's slander as well. All of it's slander, but there was one title that he had. These, yeah, right here. These hateful BHI, but that's, man, that's agent talk, man. These hateful BHI men have no true oil, false prophets. But you're not warning about any of the times to come. Where's your video going into judgment, into the judgment for Esau, Edom? You got Esau mentioned in one of your titles, Edomite, so on and so forth. Camp infiltrators and military psyops. Camp infiltrators and, and, and great millstone. I mean, man, if this guy isn't, you know, in that agent spirit, man, then I don't know what to call this wigger, this crack ass cracker, you know? Oh, man. And you're talking shit about, oh, man, you fucking piece of shit. We're in this A144. Now you, oh, man. Yeah, yeah, you're through, man. Let's play this, though, and go into the scriptures and wrap on up. But you see this man's folly right here, man.
either you can open your eyes and ears and hear the Lord. You can hear the words that are coming out of my mouth and out of the mouth of other prophets. I don't know how many are out there. I'm starting to wonder. There's a lot of people talking, but I don't hear a lot of... Um, and all this is coming out while his head's covered. And then you give this man correction and he's acting proud, man. True Bible teaching. And, um, but if you go man, to this man's... GMS is turning into a god. Now, if you go to this man's page, he follows nothing but primarily Great Millstone camps and, 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 and pages, man. So if we don't have the truth, why the fuck are you following us, man? You know? Oh, man, you see, he probably works for a man, <laughs> you know, vocab Malone, you know. Let's play some more of this man's vomit and then wrap on up. Gossip Mill Stone, Gossip Mill Stone. So that, that, we'll, we'll move past that whole on, on stage act that they threw at us. Let's go into the law real quick. Exodus 23 and 1. Thou shalt not raise a false report. Put not thy hand with the wicked to be an unrighteous witness. And that's what this man is doing. He's raising up a false report. You know, false doctrine, false teachings, being a false witness, an accuser of the brethren, being the spirit, being in the spirit of Esau, man. You know. This is harass, the etymology of it. And it goes to to vex by repeated attacks. You know? To lay waste. Waste away is he. That's what Esau Eden's future is. We don't care how hurt you get about it, man. Vex. Yep. Stir up, provoke. Basically scolding us, man. You know? If you go into the etymology of scold, to be abusive, be quarrelsome with scold. Person fond of shiting abusive language. A clamorous, rude, mean, low, foul mouth woman. <laughs> and that's what this man is acting like, man. You know? Mad because men are correcting him. You know, mad because the reports coming out mad at the gathering you know just through now if you go into first corinthians 11 and 4 as far as in the blue letter because you said it's not talking about hats or it's not talking about covering your head you know first corinthians 11 and 4 every man praying or prophesying having his head covered let's go into head and then covered so head your head you know yep Yep. Head. Having your head. Your head. You know. It's going to covered. I mean, this is playing upon tables, but sometimes you just got to go in the blue layer and see what it says. Yep. Kata. Yep. It's lucky. Let's go into prophesying. First Corinthians 11 and 4. Every man dishonors his head if he covers his head while praying or prophesying. And who's the head of the man? Yahweh Shai. So, you know, you're doing a dishonorable sacrifice to Yahweh Bashim Shai if you have your head covered. Women are supposed to have their head covered, but this man is in a scolding spirit. And to scold, you're acting like a clamorous, rude, mean, low, foul-mouthed woman. Proverbs 15 and 10. Correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way, and he that hateth reproof shall die. So, you know, to correct, to correct this man, of course, according to him, it's carnal. You know, carnal, aren't we? And all on your page, you're slandering the ministry, you know, slandering the brotherhood, rebuking elders, 
so on and so forth. You know, and that's a through spirit through. First Timothy. Five and one. Let's get right to the point. First Timothy five and one. Rebuke not an elder, but entreat him as a father and the younger men as brethren. Now, if you go into this word rebuke. Strong's G 1969. The year the truth came out. Around that time period. And who did it come out from? The elders. The elders, elders. Strike upon, beat upon, to chastise with words, to shy, a pray, rebuke. To chastise. Let's go into this word chastise. Scold. And that's what this man is doing. He's scolding. You know? Acting like a clamorous, rude, mean, low, foul mouthed woman. Acting like a bitch. And if you go into this word prophesy, 1 Corinthians 11 and 4, a man dishonors his head if he covers his head while praying or prophesying. So you're covering your head. If you go into prophesying, it goes into prophesy. To prophesy, to be a prophet, speak forth by divine inspirations to predict. Weren't you predicting things in your video? Okay, to prophesy. The idea of foretelling future events pertaining especially to the kingdom of the Most High. Weren't you talking about, you know, certain men won't get the kingdom, so on and so forth? Let's go into the etymology. Let's see what it, see what it says. A prophet inspired. A prophet in Greek writings, an interpreter of oracles or of other hidden things. And a lot of those hidden things are hidden from the ungodly, you know? Old Testament prophets having foretold the kingdom deeds and death of Yahawashai, the Messiah, Yahawashai Hamashiach, and of the illustrious prophet, uh, let me see, yep, of the prophets that appeared in the apostolic age among Israelites. So you're performing the duties in the office of a prophet telling going into scriptures, expounding on scripture, you're supposed to have your head uncovered, man. Women have their head covered, but what are you doing? Scolding, acting like a clamorous, rude, mean, low, foul mouthed woman. Proverbs 15 and 10, correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way, and he that hateth reproof shall die. Hell and destruction are before Yahweh by Shemiah Shah. How much more the hearts of the children of men, the heathen nations, and two-thirds of our people act just like Esau Edom. They're spiritual Edomites. And hell and destruction are before them. As far as catching that grievous judgment, that grievous death. You know, because hell is a condition, but that's going to be a horrible condition to sit in through thermonuclear heat. We don't want no smoke. You know, us sincere, you know, followers and believers of the truth, of the true doctrine. Proverbs 15 and 12, a scorner loveth not one that reproveth him, neither will he go unto the wise. And this man's a scorner, man, you know. Once again, Proverbs 15 and 10, the correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way, and he that hateth reproof shall die. You know how many rebuke videos went out of box? You know, my camp, man, you know, I couldn't even count it, man. But they were all edifying, and they all exhort us to you know keep going it came out sharp it came out harsh but hey the wadi al for the repute for the reproof the rebuke you know the correction and the encouragement man you can't be afraid to get corrected you don't have all the answers man you know and you're going to get corrected you're going to get rebuked it's a part of growth you know it's a part of yahweh Shai refining you into fine gold you know if you're getting rebuked, it's actually good for you, man. When you're not getting rebuked and you're going off, that's that's a bad thing, you know? That means nobody even cares or sees, you know what I'm saying? You know? I'll, I'll, I'll word it a little better. That means, Yahweh Shai has put the spirit on men to either not say anything, you know, about, about a particular topic because most likely the Lord ain't really dealing with you like that, man. You know? 
don't despise correction, man. You're not above it. But this man is despising correction. And sometimes you're going to hear it from, you know, men who came in the truth at the same time as you. Sometimes you're going to hear it from the elders, you know, the elder bishops or the apostles themselves, you know. And it's going to come out harsh. It's going to come out, you know, and sting, you know. But, I mean, when you're working out and you're growing your own body, you know, carnally, you know what I'm saying? It's going to sting as far as you going into you know a hard workout man you know you hitting 250 push-ups in an hour you know or an hour and a half you know that's gonna sting man but when you look in the mirror a month and a half later man and you're on swole it's totally worth it you know that like they say in the in the uh, fitness world no hard work no big shirt you know it ain't easy being on sweezy you know For those that work out, you know, you can pick up what's being put down. Let's wrap it on up, though. Enough of me rambling, you know. This is uh, Sirach 15 and 13. The Lord, Yahweh Shem Yashai, hate all abomination. And they that fear Yahweh Shem Yashai love it not. But according to this guy, it's all love. You know, we're, he's in that Trump as a VA spirit. Great doctrine. You don't even understand what that means. It is not about hats. Err carnal aren't we so repute uh slacking <laughs> uh almost said reprove and rebuke at the same time repuke you know and that's what this guy is spitting out puke vomit garbage man and it has to be addressed it has to be corrected you know so i left the comments on the comment board long enough to you know uh put something together and then i erased him you know blocked his ass so no Herdalites come on the page, you know, agreeing with them, you know, or this guy doesn't sway, you know, those who are not grounded and rooted in this thing to follow after him, you know, because this man's hurt and he's slandering, accusing the brethren, you know, you shouldn't even throw BHI, militia, you know, um, those things and, and those things in your titles. You shouldn't be rebuking elders, man. If anything, you should be listening and, you know, taking notes and repenting to Yahweh Bashim Yashai and praying the Lord doesn't destroy you, man. You could walk down the street tomorrow and a semi-truck hits you, man. You know? And if it does, that's judgment from the Lord, man. Sirach 15 to 13, the Lord hateth all abomination and they that fear Yahweh Bashim Yashai love it not. He set fire and water before thee. And that's what your judgment is going to be. Fire, you know? If you don't repent, you know, and water before thee, rivers of living water. And for those that are on the right hand side, well, it's both good fire, you know, which is an analogy for the word, you know, for our Lord is consuming fire, you know. And, and he makes his ministers. I'll just get it real quick. I don't want to. Hebrews. One and seven. Uh, might be nine Hebrews one and nine. Slack you. Yep. Hebrews one and seven. Call out Yahweh Bashim Yashai. The Wadi Yahweh Bashim Yashai. And the angels, he said, who maketh his angels spirits and his ministers flame of fire. I'm gonna read it again. And of the angels, he said, who maketh his angels spirits, and we're angels too. You know. Trapped in decrepit flesh, you know. Those chains of darkness, you know. And of the angels, he saith, who maketh his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire. Our Lord is a consuming fire, you know. Deuteronomy 4, I think it's about 24. Yep. For thy, for Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, thy power, for Yahweh thy power is a consuming fire. Even a jealous power. And life and death is set before thee. You know, fire and water is set before you. You know, if you're not in the right spirit. If you're in the right spirit, then fire and water is set before you. Bread and wine. You know. Meat and raiment. You know. Sirach 15 and 16. He has set fire and water before thee. Stretch forth thy hand unto whither thou wilt. 
before man is life and death. And this is no game. This truth, man. You know, Yahweh Shemashai can remove the spirit from you any second. He could take you out. He could put the spirit on another man. You know, and you be gone. Just like this guy right here, man. Through. Sirach 15 to 17. Before man is life and death. And whether him like it shall be given. And you're going to have to give an account for every idle word, you know. Matthew 12 and 36. And it reads. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. All this slander you have on your page, you're going to have to give account for it, man. You know. All this slander you're speaking against the prophets. So back to um, I know you guys like to hear me rag on great millstone man there's so many things to say about their stupidity anymore um you know some of these guys can't even and if we're false prophets if we're false teachers then unsubscribe from all of us man you know unsubscribe from all the elders you know all all the elder bishops men who have great millstone in their camp name and channel name and men who don't disclaimer i'm not in great millstone you know but i follow the teachings of the apostles and elders man you know so why are you around us? Why are you following us around? But we know why. We know why. Back to the opening precept in the lesson. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all of your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay. No resist. That means they can't resist coming against this, man. And they can't gainsay it. You know? Let's just pull it up again. Luke 21 and 15. Uh, how much battery I got? Okay, we're good. Luke 21 and 15. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all of your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. Gainsay. You know? And anti upon. To refute or deny, gainsay against, gainsay against, to speak against, gainsay. Anti. Antipater, you know, that Antipater spirit, you know, over against, opposite to, before, for, instead of, in place of, you know, and that's what you are, you're against the gather, you know, you can't resist it, nor gainsay it. To resist, withstand, withstand to set against, oppose, you know. Yep. To refute, disprove, deny. They can't disprove nor deny. You know, this this uh, truth is no joke. You know, and the Lord's putting the spirit on these d despisers of dominion, you know, filthy dreamers to expose themselves so they can give account for their mockery and their scoffing. I was going to get that. Second Peter three and three. Second Peter three and three. Three and three. Second Peter three and three. Knowing this first, that in the last days. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days, Salakia, scoffers walking after their own lusts. And if you go into this word scoffers, just want to pull it up, you know, prove all things. It goes into a false teacher, you know. Scoffer. Impactus. Impactus. Impact. Strong's G, 1703. Impactus. 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 Yep. A derider. A derider. Express contempt or for ex, express contempt for ridicule. Mocker, scoffer, a false teacher, and that's what this man is, a false teacher. And once again, now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned, and avoid them. And brethren, that word brethren is adelphos, which means ascending 
or descending from the same national ancestor, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and the 12 patriarchs, his 12 sons, from whatever particular tribe you descend from, Israelites, to whom pertain the adoption, the glory, the covenants, the giving of the law, and the promises, not to the heathen. Yep, Sirach 15 and 18, for wisdom, for the wisdom of Yahweh Bashim is great, and he is mighty in power, and beholdeth all things. And his eyes are upon them that fear him, and he knoweth every work of man. Back to Sirach, uh, actually, back to Proverbs, Sirach, yeah. Both books of wisdom, Sirach and Proverbs, you know, the wisdom of Sirach, the wisdom of the son of Sirach, uh, you know. And also known as Ecclesiasticus and Proverbs, you know, wise sayings from King Solomon, the Proverbs of King Solomon. Proverbs 15 and 3. The eyes of the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yashai are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. And they're also upon the sinful kingdom. And those that consent. You know, you're going to be through, thrust through. Those that, you know, join hand in hand, you know, you gave up men to the devil. Esau, Idumia, Adawam, you know, you accuse the brethren. You're going to be through. Sirach 15 to 18, for the wisdom of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua is great and he is mighty in power, beholding and behold it and behold it all things. And his eyes are upon them that fear him. And he knoweth every work of man. And what is this guy doing? He's cursing the king by cursing out his men. You know? Ecclesiastes 10, I think it's about 20. Yep. Ecclesiastes 10 and 20. Curse not the king, not in thy thought, and curse not the rich in thy bedchamber, for a bird of the air shall carry the voice. And that which hath wings shall tell the matter. So the angels are watching in the chariots, man. And they're reporting back to the Heavenly Father, who's omnipotent, omnipresent. He knows all, he sees all. You know? And you're cursing the rich in your bedchambers, those who are rich in this knowledge. You know? And you're going to have to give account for this, man. This is a very dangerous game that you're playing with the men of Yahweh Shem Yahshai. This is Proverbs 6 and 16. Six things, these six things, doth the Lord hate, yea, seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, all characteristics of Esau, Edom. The proud man, the serpent from the garden that lied to Eve, you know, and the hands that are constantly shedding innocent blood. How did he get this land? Through rape, robbery, murder, deception. 500 treaties with the tribe of Gad that he broke, bloodshed of the Israelites. How did he get rich? You know, robbing and stealing and killing, you know. Slavery, cargo slavery, chattel slavery, and heart that deviseth wicked imaginations. His new WO, his NWO, Slaki, his new world order, almost said them at the same time. The Davos agenda, you know, agenda 2030. Central bank digital currencies, you know, e-cash, the karagma, you know, feet that be swift and running to mischief. This man is the wicked. He's constantly doing wickedness throughout the whole earth. For they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. Violence pass them as a garment. That's Esau, man. A false witness that speaketh lies. And this man's raising a false report, you know. And he that soweth discord among brethren. You're sowing discord among brethren. You know? Because you're trying to get men to follow after you. And coming on the comment boards, trying to get somebody to agree. You know? And most likely you're not going to repent. And you're going to be destroyed, man. You know? So, Lord's will, this lesson was edifying. Um... Once again, stay away from this demon right here and, you know, block this demon who cannot gain, say, nor resist this truth. You can see all the pages he subscribes to, for the most part, are all GMS pages, man. You know, if you keep on scrolling down, 
these are you know gms pages gms hawaii you know the elder you know gabaria howard you know elder yashin wamba you know elder uh apostle tahar you know these men are wicked and, 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 and prideful. Unsubscribe then. You know? Punk ass wigger. You know? Crack ass cracker. Man. Yeah, but, um, Lord's will, you find this lesson edifying. But once again, stay away from this demon. You know? Sowing discord among the brethren. A despiser dominion. A man that hates rep reproof. You know? Proverbs 15 and 10 Correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way And he that hath reproof shall die He that hath reproof shall die So, Lord's will you are edified And in closing, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory To Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash Double honor to the head apostles of Great Millstone Who do rule well and teach well with sound doctrine Shalom to the elders and the elder bishops Peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the hopeful elect And the hearty Shalom to the sincere brethren doing the work in truth and sincerity spread across the four winds of the earth giving diligence to make their calling and election short shalom shalom and last but not least a hearty shalom to the men of valor and dta camps the first camps i ever heard the truth from isaiah 62 verses 6 through 7 ye that make mention of the lord yahweh shai keep not silence and give him no rest day or night to jerusalem is a praise in the earth so lord's will you found this lesson edifying that's what it's all about. Let all things be done to edifying. And until next time, next lesson, next live stream, next live premiere. Shalom, DTA, wa ba ba ba. Soon. Soon, soon, soon. Shalom.